Wisconsin's governor is attempting to postpone Tuesday's presidential primary. People walk into a polling booth with uh, accurate spacing to six to ten feet, uh, feet apart, one at a time going in and have machines scrubbed down. Presidential candidate Joe Biden says that he thinks votes can be cast safely. Biden's rival Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders on Wednesday called for the state to postpone the election. Milwaukee's Democratic National Convention has been rescheduled from July to the week of August 17th. Susan Crabtree, White House and National Political Correspondent for Real Clear Politics, joins me now on Skype from San Diego. Susan, welcome back to the show. Thanks so much for having me, Tracy. So, Susan, what do you make of what's going on in Wisconsin, and do you think that we're headed for more of this with other state primaries to come? I think it's a worst-case scenario uh, situation in a pandemic. You have a, a vote. is election is supposed to be taking place on Tuesday, and actually what's happening is, you know, have the governor is in a very difficult situation here. Democrats are apoplectic out there that he hasn't called to delay the election so far. He did today. It's a very fast-moving situation. He's called the legislature back on for a special Saturday session, and he's asking them to postpone the election and uh, have it be all vote by mail. And this is a push that Democrats like anyway. Republicans do not like vote by mail. They think it, it gives Democrats an advantage. And so they've been resistant. Uh, he did ask the Republican legislature earlier if they could do an absentee ballot mail, like give everybody in the state absentee ballots. And they, the Republicans resisted that. So that's why it's gotten to this point. And you're going to have this special session. And um, it looks like the, the, the governor is saying he wants the delay to be able to mail in votes until May 20, uh, 26th. Well, Susan, we have some time there. Yeah, so I'm sorry for interrupting you, Susan. I um, also want to add, just yesterday, Democrats announced that they were postponing their presidential convention until August. Can you talk about that? And do you think it'll be business as usual, or will there be a different tone there? Oh, I think that the whole nation, the whole world right now, obviously, as we're grappling with this, it's going to be a, a much different situation. Uh, usually, these are bonanzas. You have ball, you know, balloon drops, and you have all the party stars out there. It's very uh, sort of a festival, a festive occasion. Um, but this time, you know, it's going to be very touch and go. You have the, uh, the economy in a free fall right now. Hopefully, at, by that time, we'll find some stability, uh, both with this pandemic and with uh, how we're responding to it with the economy. Yeah. Uh, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders is still in the race. How do you think that's influencing the Democratic Party moving forward? Well, it's interesting that he's not getting out right now. I mean, there's really no path for the, to the nomination for him. So, uh, it, and even in Wisconsin, uh, even though that election was going to happen, he was, Biden was 18 points ahead. So it's really no mystery who was going to win. Uh, but I think people are wondering, it's so, so much uncertainty, uncertainty across the board in the country right now, uh, that if Biden is a little faltering right now, you know, he's been sort of in this uh, bunker state. He's giving, trying to stay relevant, but he's been having some problems with that, obviously. So Sanders has stayed in. Um, there's also talk of Governor Cuomo getting in. He's denied that. He said he's not running for president right now, which lets the door open a little bit. Uh, but yes, I think things are very uncertain right now on the Democratic side. Um, on a different note, the public is hearing from President Trump every day uh, about the administration's efforts to stop the spread of COVID-19. How significant is that from a political standpoint? What do you think? There, I mean, the public is hearing um, every day. I think that these uh, press briefings that the president is having work to his advantage politically, even though you don't really like to talk about that right now uh, with so much uh, that the nation has to be grappling with. He has the bully pulpit. And Joe Biden does not, unfortunately. He's used every mechanism he can to try to have a regular briefing himself from his basement in Wilmington. It's been sort of in fits and starts. Uh, and he's had uh, different sort of town halls with nurses and medical experts, too. And I've tuned into all of those. But here you have uh, Donald Trump having this press briefing every day. It's a command. It's commanding huge ratings. He kind of uh, gloated about that over the weekend, which was a little bit of bad form, uh, I thought. Uh, but 
he is his ratings have been pretty good in terms of this hand, his handling of the pandemic. They're coming down a little bit. We saw his ratings uh, in his highest ever in his presidency uh, at 49%, and then that was last week. This week, it's come down to 47%, so we're seeing a leveling off of that as the pandemic uh, gets a little bit more difficult to deal with, and we see the deaths rise to about 5,000 across the nation. Well, Susan, thanks so much for your time and your insight. We really appreciate it. Susan Crabtree, White House and National Political Correspondent for Real Clear Politics. Thanks again. Thank you, Tracy.